Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Gary. So today we're back in Geelong with Simon. Last time we saw his 356, was which was a cracking little car. Today we're here with his barn door. We're gonna have a full tour of this. This is probably a little bit of a sleeper and um, I just love this thing. So the color and everything about this bus is fantastic. So we're gonna take a big tour with Simon. So we're here with Simon again. Uh, this time with this glorious barn door which um, through a few issues of our own buses I've kind of fallen out of love with at the moment however this one is tugging on my heartstrings I think we might have a bit of an education session for me about barn doors so we'll right. go around there outside uh, first right um, get a bit of history on the bus and the barn door specifics right. and then we'll do a little bit of a tour of the Sneaky engine bay and inside a little bit. Right, this is a 1954 barn door, 11 window, um, type one van. They say type one, type two. Yeah. They said they were type one because originally when they were first built, I believe this car was found in a truck stop, uh, wreckers, and basically it was destroyed. Uh, an A-frame was bent up onto the front, collapsed the centre pillar. The roof had been cut out from the door posts back to here okay. and basically used as a field car, hence the reason 54 field car. Yeah. Okay. Now when I mean field car, so basically what they did was they stripped the whole complete inside out, put a fourth floor in there Yeah. and they used to throw hay bales oh, in geez. through the roof. So basically that's what they used it for, was a utility vehicle. Yeah. Um, well, not even a vehicle, I guess, a bit well, of a trailer. A trailer. So basically, they used that, and then basically, um, I found it, fell in love with it from Rick at Vic, uh, Volks Recycler. Yeah. And then basically paid uh, a sum of money for it. We won't say two more. Yeah. And basically, I've rebuilt it from. But the that was a while up. ago. You got this. Yeah. I mean, this is basically about 2010. Yeah. Okay. So basically, at the end of the day, is once i looked at the vehicle and inspected the vehicle all the seals were rotten all the outriggers were rotten all the jacking points were rotten the floors were rotten yep um so no normally the bottom six inches is the worst yeah, on a bus yeah so basically i've had to replace all the floors i've had to put the intermediate panel i've had to put the barn door panel vertical and horizontal in there okay and basically I've, they call it a tk TKD, which is a total knockdown. So basically yeah, I've okay. ripped the whole body off and built this from the chassis up. Yeah. So basically in the days, I've gone through it all, taken all the best bits off of it and collected them and had them all sandblasted and cleaned them. And okay, there's not a lot of the vehicle that is original, but there is still a fair amount. It's an original Safari window van. Yep. So that means the front windows flip out. Yep. The reason why they're called a barn door is because of this engine lid. Yep. And the reason we've seen a lot of people get mistakes for that, but what we won't do is we won't open that poppy no. quite yet because there's something a little bit more special yeah. under there. So basically, it's a barn door. So basically, at the end of the day, is with a barn door, we'll fold that up in a moment. You have small tail lights. Yep. Which don't actually work as a tail light. Basically, just as a side light. You've got a third brake light there, which is the brake light. Yep. And then you've got your reflectors, which are recessed into the panel. Yeah, I, we did talk about that a little bit earlier, that they have a bit of a, a recess, a recess on them. there that now, goes in, so that's all original. All the rest of the van is normally like a split screen. Yeah. If it's not an Australian one, the Australian one obviously had vents at the top there, but this is obviously, was built in Germany. Yep. And basically the vents are on the lower end. Um, original barn doors, which is, a lot of people get confused, this is not the barn door. Yep. This is the side opening doors. Yes, yeah, cargo doors. Now, barn door is a little different from a normal splitty. Basically, it has that dash, which is a very short dash, has a grab handle, a footrest, a pod, speedo pod, yeah. and three spokes steering wheel. I do like the handles on the top there 
and the ones on the floor. Yeah. Because we've had a couple of friends where um, kids in the front of the bus know where to put their feet, rest the feet on the uh, shifter, and of course that shifter needs to move and play a little bit while you're driving around. And then of course if you've got your foot rested on it, it grinds through the gears. Mm. So that's a nice little. So basically, uh, that's that, that's a factory barn door footrest. Yeah, we'll flip around the other side and have a look at closer look at the pod in so a moment. Also on the barn door is it doesn't have a peak. So these roofs are different. There's yeah, no peak, yeah, 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 yeah. There's no air vent. Yep. And yeah, because normally on a splitter you'd have the air vent on the, the inside. On the side. Yeah, and so we might have a quick look at that because that that would have the air vent up the top which yeah. it doesn't have no nope. and then originally it's yeah okay safari window which pops out now obviously the sad thing about this van was it was pretty much robbed of all the bits so i've basically had to source as much as i can original yeah okay some of it's not original some of it is original and they can be obtained but obviously with a certain, certain amount of funds <sighs> and basically time so it depends on if the time is the issue of building the vehicle or the time is you can always get those other bits later on and fit them which i've been able to do slowly but surely yeah because barn um, door parts are not cheap no um all the pedals on a barn door are completely different because they are mounted off a a basically a tube that sits under the vehicle and not like the other splitty so yeah, basically okay. they're a very um, sourced thing to find press bumpers yep. as normal all the way up to I think it's 58 um, and plus the barn door ones are slightly different they've got a wider gap in the middle than oh, the okay. Pedals. yeah okay so a bit of a wider gap than the original press yeah. bumpers now you're gonna have to excuse the holes in the bumper Basically, because that was when I had it in England. Ah, oh. plates are wider. <laughs> so and then these else. are the original mounting yeah. locations for, yeah, the, for the mirrors, the wing mirrors, yeah. which are obviously pretty useless, like every other wing mirror on an yeah. old car. Um, bundle lenses in the headlights, bundle rings, um, and basically the wipers uh, fold out and then pop in. Yeah. Another thing that's very difficult to find, but they can be found and obtained if you look in the right places. Oh, are they barn door specific ones? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, they're not the same as the splitty ones that have got barn doors in them. Yeah. Because okay. the, the spindles are different. Ah, uh, okay. The grommets are different. This front section here is different on a splitty compared to a barn door because obviously the recesses and basically the rubbers yeah are different okay. there, you know, there's, lo there's lots and lots there's lots of panels on these barn doors that are different from the normal splitty yeah okay like all the inside of these panels like the drip rails are different the inners and the outers um they've all got a little bit of a difference in the making of them okay so um, let's have a uh, i've made them i mean you can't really see them unless you actually get a normal splitty up against it and then look at the differences in the differences yeah. you know what i mean um, so this is the pedal assembly. Yeah, does look different to and yeah, a normal. they're not like the other rod ones where you push them down. These are basically set on a bar. Yeah, and they all run off the same bar. But this yeah. one, there's the pod for the yeah. Barney, and that's basically a bundle deluxe speedo. Okay, um, which is a pretty sourced after clock speedo. Um, a lot of people are hunting for them if they've got a deluxe. Yeah, okay, twenty-three window. And then we will come to the motor in a second, but we've got um, oil temp gauge and PSI just so that we can yeah, just check it's going. Things. But we'll see the engine in a moment. Looks nice this side. So the blue is carried on into the cab and then changes to the grey at the back there. The seat's in there. I think the middle bench seat is a modified seat. Yeah. Because barn door seats are a ridiculous amount of money. But um, that they actually look really nice. They're just a little bit. Yeah. And then the inside of the bus is lovely. All the original racking and original ribs on the, the parcel shelf. They're all factory. Oh, are they? Yeah. There's like a parcel shelf with 
steel bars for the cases and stuff like that. Yep. So we've got a basically four inch narrow beam, just break the front end. Um, okay, so narrow beam disc, disc brakes as well? Yeah. And I'm Where aware, are they from? Where are your disc brakes from? Um, I basically bought them. They're actually just a, a late model. Of, they were actually, a, I think they're a Sharps built yeah, okay. unit that you can buy um, from them. And then this has rack and pinion steering? Yeah, I've, put, I've just fitted that recently. Yeah, okay. It's a lot direct, it's a lot better. Might need an enge engineer's report, but we will get to that hurdle yeah. when uh, we get to it. I'm just sort of and basically- And who was that by, the English company guys? Yeah, Creative Engineer. Creative, they're the ones, yeah. Yeah. So basically on the back, I've got disc brake front end, as well, uh, rear end. Okay. And that's running an IRS suspension. So basically that's got disc brakes on it. Um, that, that's an IRS, so basically because a barn door is 40 mils narrower in the rear end, you can use them arms oh, to okay. fit. There's been lots of scratching of the heads and working out what's going on. Okay, and then now, it's got flat four Fox on the front. Yeah, original. Fox. Original Porsche ones at the back. Yeah, 16 by sixes on the back and 15 by fives on the front. Okay. So I think we're going to look at the spicy end. Yeah. Right. This end, we have pretty much got a Type 1 engine made into a 1915. This has got a CSP carbon fiber fan shroud with 11, uh, 11, 11 blade. I do like the carbon fiber, so that is um, something that we'll kind of have a think about for the 356. With 48 IDAs. Trumpets, need some yeah. filters. Yeah, and basically some CB performance in at manifolds. Um, it's a really nice engine for a bus. Yeah. Um, like that's a cracking engine. Custom made tank. This. Well, it's not custom made tank, it's the tank, original tank, but moved over. So that'd be raised four inches and, and both well three inches and moved over. So the original tank would sit a little bit further towards this yeah, way? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that you could actually probably yeah, easily so get to get the, the fuel this way instead of that way. Yeah, okay. And then basically underneath But you move that because of the carbs. Yeah, because of the carb rares. Yeah. And then the the exhaust system is um, I can't remember what the company is. Um, Vintage Speed. Ah, okay. So Vintage Speed. speed Which make a great exhaust, make great um, yeah, yeah. shifters, things like that. Yeah. They're, like they're, they're, they're they make really good gear. You know, I've had to modify the rear apron a little bit to make it fit, but basically it's done. Um, I've obtained a lot of the original stuff through some friends like Andrew Dodd and Tony Womblewell. Um, and they've helped me out a fair bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, it's been a, a big project and basically, uh, I don't think I will ever sell this vehicle. Don't get me wrong, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's what I wanted. Well, it's not their fault if they've got no nah, taste. No, nah, exactly. You know, if they're <laughs> the paint scheme, there is an original. Now, up. I love the paint, and we were so saying just when it was in the garage, I was a big fan of the kind of the the chocolatey brown because you get the oh you almost see the milk in it like it is it's gorgeous and i'll just see if we can get the light properly on it like that is lovely and then but then out in the sun that blue really catches the sun really well yeah and what what we probably didn't mention is that um it's matte here on the doors and on the body however the window frame is gloss and then on the bumpers it's gloss as well which i wouldn't have normally thought about doing but the extra bit of shine it gives it really breaks it up and mm. I, I think it looks great there's nothing so that i change just about tuck and roll interior i know it's not factory spec but it's what i wanted this is my car yeah, yeah. i build my cars how i like them I'm not into all this OG original stick it up your ass. I like what I like to build. And if this is what cranks your handle, I appreciate your comments. But if you don't, that's fine. <laughs> and um, I gotta say, like a barn door middle seat, like yeah. unless you're looking for hen's teeth 
and you've got um, yeah you can a, buy them but you can make them as well yeah anything can be made yeah and basically this is not an original barn door seat but i have made it look like one yeah um not really 100 percent happy with the interior but the tuck and roll does work and it matches um all the original grab handles all original um i've put pop outs yeah on all the windows and they are creative engineering pop outs yeah okay um and the ribs on the back parcel shaft they're all original it's a cracking bus it's absolutely cracking i made all the door cards myself for the long panels or the short panels yep you know and i painted the van myself and i did most of the work myself um my friend from v dubs only dean he's the one that built the engine but basically i sourced all the parts and we put it together but i'm very happy with the engine it runs it, it sounds fine. brilliant so oh, we brilliant. were going to take it for a bit of a spin but we might just show it on video it's uh registration has slightly elapsed at the moment because of you traveling around and bits and bobs so i think next time we're down because we will be down to geelong again might be on registration and we can bomb around a little yeah definitely go have another lunch and uh, yeah yeah chicken palmy or something <laughs> So that seems to be the thing but that is epic and like i said you, depending on what the the light's doing you yeah. can either be in love with a brown or you can or the blue kind of last as well like it's you know really the whole nice. deal at the end of the day mate opinions are like assholes everyone's got an opinion <laughs> and if you like your opinion then yeah, that's cool yeah, yeah. and if you don't that's fine as well i love it and like, like we talked about a little bit earlier you know you go to a car show everybody's got a white black red car something like that this it's awesome. different yeah absolutely and i like to be different look at me <laughs> <laughs> so how long did the restoration take you uh, about five years i believe but i did build a single cab ute and a calm and gear in between yeah okay so it's it's it was a bit of an on and off i think at some stages it the, the restoration did get a little stale and basically it wasn't moving along um as quickly as i wanted it to but you hear that a lot on restorations like because they're big jobs yeah because they're big jobs um you know and basically if you're waiting around for parts and everything else i got them with something else you know what i mean yeah um but yeah once it was done and dusted and now i just love driving it it gets up and goes it don't muck about no um the 48s on it um you know okay they can drink a lot of juice if you're actually putting your foot into it all the time yeah but on a general drive or a general cruise it's pretty good um like i said just got to get some uh because of the dry heat in australia i'm going to get some decent air cleaners for it yeah to stop the dust messing up with the engine yeah yeah because so we've all had the that problem been... before with cars where we've not put the yeah. right air filter on and then or a car's turned up and it hasn't had an air filter on at all and then it's just yeah. the, inter the interior of the yeah engine. i mean the engine was very detailed in the build it's all been balanced blueprinted all the ports have been flow yeah flowed them um, and, and basically that 1875 1900 on a bus is a lovely little engine yeah i mean the rs gearbox makes it good as well you know because yeah. it gets up and go and it don't muck about but then again i've seen a few friends thrash living data out of a, a standard splitty box and they get up and go as well at the same time so i'm not knocking it i just prefer to go down this avenue and uh it's a great van lovely yeah cracking well done love it stand out of the buses we've seen for a long long time love it to bits so there we go hope you enjoyed the tour of the barn door and probably like me you might have learned a little bit something about barn doors um please give the video a massive thumbs up thanks to simon for uh, showing us around and we'll see you next time with something new see you later guys bye